good evening friends today i am going to show you version 17 new feature for deferred expenses and deferred revenue and how it works previously in version 16 we have to set up a model to define deferred revenue or deferred expenses however in version 17 as you can see in my screen it is now part of general configuration in accounting where I can set a separate journal, separate uh, deferred expense and revenue and how the entries can be generated either on bill generation or and how amount can be kept computed like based on days or equal per month. So I select these settings right now and then let's start how it works. So I am straight away going to create a new customer invoice to run us through the entire transaction. So I'm marking the day of invoice will be 1st April and I'm making like I'm paying for internet services. Right? So internet services will become my service type product and then it will make my you know uh, service revenue uh, i'm just now selling this internet services and service revenue will go to local sales if i change this to maybe retail sales and here I just need to enable start date and end date and then need to give a date like I am selling this services from 1st April to 30 September for 6 consecutive months and then here I will select whether this entry will be posted on specific accounting date I say simply no here and I am going to mark the price like total price of this service will be 500 per month so for 6 months it will become 3000 and then I just simply confirm it so I have to give address here Because without that it will not going to allow me to do anything I am going back to my invoice there is my invoice everything was set up 1st April to 30th September I said auto post no invoice date will be first and I just click confirm so you can see a deferred entry button over here as soon as I go there you can see some of the entries like first entry which was marked from retail sales to deferred revenue account like retail sales debited and deferred revenue account credited so it was the first entry it was passed on 30th april and then rest for last three months like april may and june you can see already it has passed the entry and for future months you can see it is in draft as soon as it hits this date it will auto post this entry now over the journal entries we can also see like different entries over here like this one is the invoice entry which i have sold retail sales credit and then we can see retail sales debit which is going into my deferral after that immediately okay and then we can see all this entry over here deferral entries retail sales debit to deferral revenue account over here we can see and likewise this is my deferral entry as soon as it is passed it will move my retail sales credit to deferral debit that is over here and in customer invoice we will see the real impact i go to customer invoice and then open my deferred entries 
you can see the same thing retail sales credit so here retail sales debit by 3000 but if I go on this entry which is retail sales credit to deferral revenue account debit okay so it's the same entry you can see the journals over here this is for fourth month so if I go to fourth month journal which is this one okay so Odo is doing its job very nicely when you pass this deferred uh, revenue entry the same way we will see deferred expenses so I am registering an insurance vendor and then I am buying car insurance and that car insurance would be starting from 1st July to 31st December and then I will say the total insurance price was 12,000 rupees it is including Eighteen percent of GST. And the bill date is of first July. As soon as I confirm, I just have to give this unregistered, and only it will allow me. And then here we can see deferred entries. So for the very first entry, it will go and credit my purchase expense and deferred expense debit. Entry. For rest of the months, deferred expense credit would be done to purchase expense to pass my deferred. Okay, so you can also see all this deferred entry posted over here. Right, so how this will work if I reset to draft and if I simply say it should do at date like automatic post date and if I confirm then I go it will auto confirm all this entry as on date if I now change my method to monthly basis it will ask up to what date it should work uh, auto post okay I do not give any value because I already have given video over here up to 31st December and I confirm so you can see all the entries over here and then when I go to my journal entries you can see all the posted and unposted entries so you can see a vendor bill is pending on 21st 8 which will be accounted on 21st 8 after a month of time from today's and then rest all would be my deferral entry for the year for all the 2000, 2000, 2000 for six times to make it 12,000 plus taxes. So this is how it works. Now if I go and change based on days, how it will react. So from date of entry, it will start putting the things. You can also see one similar bill which will pass my purchase expense debit on this date to realize my expense. And here you can see purchase expense debit over here which has created my all the journal entries. So what I will do is I will reset to draft. I say no auto post. Everything is set up. Okay. And then I say confirm this. It will create deferred entries with date basis. 
you can see the amount is still 12,000 but according to month days it has passed so for July month it is 31 days August also but for September it's 30 days only likewise October has full 31 and then November has 30 days so based on days it has passed the general entries so this is what the difference is when you select the method computation method is based on this now I am going here and then changing manually and grouped the generate entries option okay now I go back again I make reset to draft and let's see how system will react for the same example right I say hit date it should auto post and accounting date has gone to let me make it first July and then I will say confirm so it didn't create any journal entry if we go here in journal entry also you cannot see any journal entry for that bill what we need to do is we need to go to deferred expense we need to go to this financial year and just press journal entries and then once I go back and check my journal entries system will be creating group journal entries like this okay and at date it will pass my journal entries based on that particular day and then it has also created one vendor bill which will realize on 1st of August as per our terms so this is the way one can handle either manually or automated right so here you can see a vendor bill is already generated for first number which is over here is seven which is already there from where we have generated manual journal entries and it is grouped by different entry so it will group all the different entry like this okay so all method we have seen how it create the impact in manually and grouped okay. and then equal per month so now if i still want to make any changes i go reset to draft i say auto post on monthly basis and then if i confirm this how system will react so i say confirm Over here, I will refresh my journal entries, okay. and then I am going again into my deferred expense. Then say generate entries. So here, I will go and check my journal again. So system has created reversal of group entries because I have cancelled that and then group general entry for entire year on 31st March okay. so this is how the system has created entire entry at particular date so it has grouped by entire entry and pass it at one particular date okay. so this auto post didn't work over here but it pass on one particular date so now if I still make changes reset to draft okay, and then I say no auto post auto post doesn't work over here but I say accounting date should be 31st December where I want to realize this okay, so I have to change this sequence because I do understand sequence only and then I simply confirm it and I go over here I refresh this you can still see this setting where 31st December has been marked and created this particular journal entry because I have marked a particular date I want to realize this vendor bill so this 
facility will help when you have a business which you want to uh, you know generate entries manually at certain dates you can use manually and group and if you want uh, to divide on invoice and bill generation and equal amount computation you can do this option on invoice and bill validation hope uh, this will help uh, to uh, you know not making a model in version 17 and use this option out of box like this thank you